Hello, family, friends, fans. It is C-Man, and I'm here back with you to discuss the second year of medical school. Uh, I'll start off just by talking a little bit about the structure of second year medical school. Probably the most important and the most emphasized class is going to be uh, basically pathology. Uh, it's kind of it almost is like a, uh, it, they don't call it pathology, they'll call it like introduction to human, you know, to human illness or human disease, something like that, but it's basically pathology. What it does is it combines uh, basically the, the basics of all human disease or the basic human diseases that are most common usually or they have something very unique about them and they typically will pair that up with like, um, you know, the slides, pathology slides and um, how it looks and, and all that fun stuff. Depending on who you have, they may do a little better job of emphasizing uh, more toward what step two focuses on, which is, like I said before, the diagnosis of certain diseases and everything. And I would just, uh, you know, it just depends on what they do. But step one is much more about basic sciences plus very basics in disease. Like, look at this uh, picture or, or CT slice of the human brain and uh, what is the most likely likely thing going on here. And it'll be like, you know, things near the ventricles and you'll be like, oh, multiple sclerosis or something something to that effect. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's kind of the main class. And then the others that we had, and it will differ in medical schools, but it typically will, will resemble a lot of it is uh, we had a uh, focus on, of course, immunology. Um, that's an important, uh, obviously, as well as uh, 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 paired up with immunology, we had microbiology as well. <coughs> so that makes sense, obviously, and that is definitely part of step one for sure. And then we also had human behavior, which was basically psychiatry, 101 like it's a very basic psychiatry and then we had a couple of other classes of course that were kind of focused on embryology uh, was in there uh, at one point um, pharmacology will definitely be uh, most likely your second year I love my pebbles I love to take them so they make me feel good I especially like to take stool softeners I, I can't see them pairing up too much of it first year unless, uh, which I'll talk about in my next video, they do like this combo thing that our school just moved to. Uh, I'm a fourth year, and and the class that's first year right now just started it. So anyway, so that's the basic structure. If you have any questions on what those classes entail, it's basically, you know, what, you know, all the infections and organisms that can get into your body. <laughs> how your body fights those particular organisms. That's the immunology uh, and um, microbiology part. And then pharmacology, of course, is just all the pharmacotherapies. With pharmacology, I will say that it's very important that you focus on a couple of things. Number one, mechanisms of action. Uh, and number two, uh, uh, certain very prevalent side effects. Okay, And they'll ask them kind of weirdly or whatever. But you always make sure to, you know, focus on those two things. And then antibiotics, it's also very important to focus on mechanisms of uh, resistance. That's not really asked on step two, but on step one, because it pairs up so well with certain things in first-year biochemistry, uh, like the genetics and the, all that stuff, they'll definitely they'll, they'll, they'll ask those types of questions. And uh, there are a lot of things you can focus on, you know, knowing the families of viruses and, and, and you know, which, uh, which bacteria form spores, all that fun stuff. But you'll catch on to that. But the probably one of the biggest things uh, in second year medical school that makes it very different. Do you hear that?
That's right, boards. <laughs> Step one, boards. Step one, boards is, I hated it. I hated it compared to step two. I didn't feel comfortable with it compared to step two. It's 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 not. It was not my favorite thing. There are a couple things I'll suggest. I suggested this to some medical students um, during anatomy lab, which I kind of volunteered to help out with as part of a class. It was a great experience in fourth year. I'd suggest that if you're going into any surgical subspecialty, just get on your anatomy lab, see if you can during the particular. Uh, blocks where they're doing the parts that you'll be dealing with in the future. And anyway, so when I was in anatomy lab, I someone said, you know, when do I start studying for boards? It, number one, there, there are a couple of, of things that make that decision more important. Number like, so if you're going into something that's a little more competitive, it's time to compete, boy! Oh! Um, you know, if you're getting into surgical specialties or surgery or, or, or you know, radiology, all that stuff, you know, the uh, if you have any questions about which ones, I'll probably put it in the description. The description. But the point is, is if, if you are looking for something more competitive, you're going to want to start studying earlier. Pure and simple. I would suggest that... At, start studying at least somewhat very regularly during or starting um, Christmas break basically or right after Christmas break giving yourself approximately you know five six months to really study pretty well um, before you have to take them I know some people that waited longer and didn't do as well and that's not surprising and so then they were disappointed and everything uh, number two, I would even I would suggest reviewing materials from first year, basically midway through first uh, semester, second year. Yeah. You, that stuff's going to definitely come up on boards, and a lot of people didn't review it and were disappointed. So the point is, is that my opinion is, if you're studying small amounts early, leading up to boards. And then increasing, you know, as your classes start letting up, because they will, because they realize you have to take boards, increasing your frequency, and then reviewing all that material, you'll have put away, you know, you'll have gone over it about three times or so, and you'll probably feel really comfortable doing it. And uh, I would suggest that. I wish I would have done it earlier. Also, what question banks to use? Most everybody uses USMLE World for us. I used Kaplan. Like I said, I did not like it from my style. Uh, I liked USMLE World when I used it for Step 2 studies. I thought it was very good. And But, you know, it just depends. Maybe you like Kaplan more, and that's fine. You just use what you feel like the people around you typically, uh, you know, that study like you maybe want to use. I think that's a good idea. Anyway, so that is second year of medical school. Also, just a quick reminder... If you figure out what you want to do or are getting interested, I'd suggest finding out as early as possible. Talking with people you think that are in the fields that you want to be in um, or just talking to a variety of people, a counselor maybe, that your, your school probably provides some services to try to figure out what you would prefer to do in medicine. Once you figure that out, start talking to those people that are in that field and figure out how you can get on, how to start doing some research, how to start doing maybe some volunteer work, whatever it is. Because come interview season, especially for the more competitive specialties, I said it's time to compete! Oh! If you don't have a good research resume uh, or, or something that's really putting you as that you put in a lot of work early to that specialty, it could really be a hurt to you, and I would definitely suggest that if nobody else does, get on as early as possible to research projects, get a paper out or something out as early as possible, and then you'll have that on your resume. It'll look really good, and I just suggest that. Anyway, if you have any questions, as I said, put in the description, and I'll talk to you guys later.